Okay, time to make a little bit of uh, RO water. There's the unit. There's a faucet with a diverter on it. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, now it's uh, flushing out. Use the gauge, pressure gauge. I'm just going to flush it for a little bit. Filters, carbon sediment in the uh, membrane. There's a little valve back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Right there, right there. Right now it's just flushing. I'll turn that over. Pressure gauge is going up. Now it's filtering. And it's in the green, which is uh, perfect. Let it run for a bit. And there's our water hose, our clean RO water hose. Zip. There is a little uh, shut-off valve, but I haven't put it on yet. I just go like this. Finger on. Over to the bottle. In she goes. Pretty much that simple. Oh, we don't want to advertise what spring water we used to buy. After which we... Uh, there it is. Just fill it up. We clean our own water for the uh, water cooler. I did some tests with the uh, PPM meter on the spring water. Pretty damn high. Anyhow, oh, coffee. Wash machine. And everything's functioning good on here. Perfect, actually. So, it'll take about 10 minutes and I'll have that, uh, that filled right up. Really is that simple. Right from the basement sink. The water coming in, the city water coming in from the street. It's going up through that white line, through the sediment filters, through the carbon filter, and then through the membranes, back out and into the jug, and it's scrubbed clean, filtered clean. They gotta like it. Okay, we're back again with the PPM meter, parts per million. I'm just going to test a little water. Now this cup full is just water, city water from the faucet. And uh, here we go. Pop the meter in. It has, this, is, this is not RO water. This is city water. Pop that in. Hold. There you go. 162 parts per million of who knows what's in there. We know there's chlorine, calcium, you name it, minerals, salts, dissolved solids, who knows. There's all kinds of stuff in there. But that's the city water. And once my jug's filled, I'll pull a sample out and measure that for you and let you see it. 162, it's high in my books. I don't know what your waters are like where you live, but uh, so I don't like drinking this stuff. I was drinking that, uh, what they call spring water, but quite frankly, the uh, parts per million count on that stuff was even higher than this. So, in a couple minutes, I'll get a sample and I'll measure that and show you. Okay, I'm going to draw a sample of this RO water from the uh, filter system and we'll measure that while it's running. I'll just pull that hose out. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Pull that up. Oh, by the way, I'm running a one-to-one, -one, the one-to-one -one ratio. There's a little thing on the back of the uh, filter system. You can change it to two-to-one where you get 
two parts of uh, water that's dirty that gets filtered out and to one part of the clean water that's coming through the hose. Here we go. Ooh, we got a nice cup full. Just sprinkle that and sp spill a little bit off. Zip. Okay. On. And the meter goes into the fresh RO water just made. Hold, pull it out, bring it to the camera. Oh, from 164 down to 4. Gotta like it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope you like it. This is by no means scientific, but uh, it does give you an idea that these systems do scrub or clean your water nicely. Hope you give me a like. Thanks a lot.